Later, I called some men from Bakcha after I chased away the chort. Kaldun's like to ruin weddings. You know how it is. Yes, and the guests are helpless. If you ruin a wedding, you can ruin the entire lives of the newlyweds. That's all right. Just be attentive. You will protect them. Right. I shouldn't expect any help from Fetka. We'll manage even without Fetka. All right. We need to go. God bless. Bright sand for you. She doesn't let anyone touch the banya. Says you're the only one who can. That's right. Tell her I'll be there soon. Get the decorations ready. Who knows who's mixed up into this? All right, Grandpa. Thanks, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. Climb the Church of the Trinity and knock down a bell from there, eh? Yes, Yegor Yevlampovich. It was I. I come to you for repentance. Vasilisa Fyodorovna, heal me, please. All right, I'll do something about it. One doesn't deserve to die because of this. Here, sit by the stove. Thank you for coming, Vasya. I've been crying the whole night. I have no strength left. Some birch branches lie here. Here are the decorations for the banya, satin ribbons of different colors. You take the ribbons from the chest. There's nothing of interest left in the chest.
away these gloomy thoughts. There's no need to go beneath the bench here. You're just decorating the walls. You are thinking about what color to decorate the banya. The old Banya reminds you of the Abdiricha. You chase away these gloomy thoughts. You are thinking about what color to decorate the Banya. The barrel jumps from side to side and sways as if it were alive. A small boy is sitting in the barrel. He clutches a flute in his hands and blows it with all his might. Well, witch! Today, Bejka the Witch Hunter will expel you from this wedding. Stop playing. My head will explode. I can bring him around. And the Kaldoons can help, too. What was it that the bride and groom appointed me? Ceremonies here. I'm in charge. What have you heard about Kuldoons? What have you heard about Kuldoons? Do Kuldoons fight each other? One invites a Kuldoon over, and he turns out to be weak. Like you. What are you whispering there? Nothing, nothing. So then comes another Kuldoon, a powerful one and curses everything he sees, the wedding, and the first Kuldun. so that no cursed items will be trodden upon. the bride that guests from her side might show up soon. Shorts sent by the Abdiricha. You're right. As soon as the fire is lit in the Banya, a demon appears.
After you catch your breath, you wash the bride while speaking the ritual Zagavars, and then help to get her in the wedding dress. I'm not your typical bride. The others usually say goodbye to their home. You had a chance to see it. Not every- That's right. But you'll help- I didn't save you from a demon for- Thank you, Vaisa. Hey, Kola. Prepare your coins. We have a song for you. Hey, hit it! Petka, let's have some drums! <laughs> of nobility that they have a pele the graph they got pele the graph telegraph i've only seen the telegraph huh so is he scary oh i barely escaped be on the lookout pele the graph himself may show up right Besides, what's a good wedding without a Khaldun duel? There was this event in my youth. Uh, I was the best man and uh, guarded the wedding. A disgruntled Khaldun showed up. They hadn't invited him, you see? So I gave him a good cursing. He was sick for an entire week after that. But you should look for a curse anyway. We don't want you to be sick. Sit right there, under the icons. of the cursing sword. I have failed to notice in time. I think I saw something the other day, but it wasn't quick enough. The shadow escaped. Whom did you see? Tell me in details. The man was rummaging around the haystacks. Devil knows. He could play tricks on my eyes better than you. He sneaked up to me and grabbed me by my fur. But that's all right. I had seen enough by then. Take a look in the morning. You'll find it. The Susiedka 
advises you to look in the lining of the chest with the bedsheets, which are to be brought into the house of the groom. A boat or a church? My tool is always with me. My loyal axe here. So no one can beat you at drinking. I can drink five bottles of vodka right now, believe it or not. I think I can beat you at drinking. You? <laughs> well, wanna try it. After several cups, you feel sick. You have to get up from the table and whisper a couple of Zagavars to come to your senses. King. I can drink five bottles of vodka right now, believe it or not. Vasilisa Fyodorovna, God be with you. I know I didn't believe you outright, but I was wrong. Oh, thank you, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. I don't know how to thank you. Take some sour cream from our cow. After each song, it is customary to thank the singers with some money. Your turn comes. The song begins, Triknizhna Nasha Svashinka. When the sound of the choir dies down, a girl with a tray approaches you. The girls bow and thank you before praising the other guests. The usual dish is served. Selyanka, a large baked pudding with eggs. Nikolai deftly cuts a piece of pie and gifts his mother-in-law the customary coins. The feast will go on until morning, but old Yegor convinces you that tomorrow is the most important day. The traveling of the wedding procession to the wedding ceremony. You go home to have a little rest before dawn.